everybody, my name is Rachel. I'm an environmental educator here at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit organization and Sea Turtle Hospital in South Padre Island, Texas. Our mission focuses on education, rehabilitation, and conservation of sea turtles. Today's topic is a resident spotlight. We'll be highlighting one of our resident sea turtles, Allison. Before we get started, I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. It's always interesting to see where our viewers are from. I'd also like to do a special birthday shout out to my mom. She's tuning in from Pennsylvania. I love you, mommy. I miss you so much. Happy, happy birthday. So Allison is one of our resident sea turtles. We have five resident sea turtles at Sea Turtle Inc. They were deemed non-releasable for a variety of different reasons. I'm going to tell you Allison's full story. I'm going to flip the camera around because she's actually right in front of me in this tank. So if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. And also, many of you know prob many of you probably know who Allison is and have your own stories about her. So I'd love to hear them, your experiences with Allison. Have you ever come to our facility and seen her in person? She's a wonderful animal. Her story is really, really beautiful and inspirational. So I'd love to hear those stories. So I'm gonna flip the camera around now. Let me see. There we are. So here is Allison. Oh, she was just taking a breath. She's flashing around a little bit because what you'll notice about Allison is that she has a prosthesis on her back. So Allison, in June of 2005, stranded on the beach. A little girl named Allison actually found her called her mom over. Her name is April. If you're watching this video, Allison and April, hello. Here's Allison in all her glory. So they found her on the beach and she had suffered a predator attack. As you can see, Allison only has her right front flipper. She actually swims in circles, which makes sense because if you were in the water and you splashed around with just your right arm, you'd kind of start going in circles too. So they found her on the beach in 2005. She came into our hospital and she was deemed non-releasable. It's really hard for her to get around with only one flipper. So she was kept in very shallow water. But after a period of time, a couple years later in 2009, one of our interns, Tom Wilson, wanted to give her a better quality of life. So he came up with the first design for her prosthesis. This is her current prosthesis. There are many variations over time of her prosthetic device. I'll be showing you some of them when I go around her tank. This is the newest model. It fits her very well. It also has to change because she gets bigger and bigger over time. If anything ever happens to the prosthesis, if any parts aren't working or they're broken, one of our board members will actually work on it and fix it, so it's really great. So thank you to Bill Honas for doing that. So Allison, when she first came in, she was teeny tiny. She actually fit in the palm of your hand. She was that small, can you imagine? We had a turtle trivia yesterday where we asked you how much you think Allison weighs. And many of you had a lot of different answers. Some of you said 300 pounds, 400 pounds. Some said 70 pounds, 100 pounds. Last time we weighed Allison, she came in at 140 pounds. What's crazy about that is that she still has some growing to do. Atlantic green sea turtles, which is the species that Allison is, can actually grow to be around 500 pounds. And Allison is only a little bit over 15 years old because she was found in 2005. She was probably around a year old or so at that time. And it's been 15 years since then. So she's probably around 16 or so. Someone's asking if she lives in this pool. She does not. So what we've actually done is put this prosthesis on and there's this little gate over here that you see. We actually put her out into this tank right over here. So every morning we put Allison's prosthesis on and we have a lifeguard, a volunteer that watches Allison throughout the day. At the end of the day, we bring her in. She pretty much knows her system. So she'll actually come and she will come right close to the gate right here and she'll come into her little pool and we'll feed her because we have to keep her in the shallow tank overnight because we can't monitor her, right? So during the day, she spends her time out in this larger tank and at night she stays in this smaller tank. So we're actually going to be putting Allison out into her larger tank. There she goes. So you can watch her swim 
and see how amazing she is and how she uses that device. I see Tom Wilson, the intern that designed her first prosthesis is tuning in. Hello, Tom. I've never met you, but the work you did was wonderful. So you can get a better look of Allison in this tank. And I want you guys to be able to see her. So I'm actually going to go on top of that boardwalk so you can get a closer look. So let me climb down these stairs. I have to go, it's kind of like a jungle gym back here, but I'm gonna climb up on that boardwalk so you can see. And on the way there, I'm gonna be able to show you her past prosthetic devices. So these are some of the different designs. This was the fifth version, the fourth version of her prosthesis. And here we have the prototype, the beta, and the third version. So you can see her prosthesis has really changed over time and there have been a lot of major improvements. Here's Allison going by the window right now. Hello, Allison. So I'm gonna climb up on the boardwalk so you can see her from above and you'll be able to see how she uses that prosthesis. What you'll notice is that prosthesis is really magnificent because it allows her to swim in a straight line and comfortably around her tank. As I mentioned, without it, she swims in circles. And that's why we have to maintain her in shallow water when we can't monitor her because we want her to be able to come up to take a breath. So I've made my way up on this boardwalk. Let me not trip here. And let me pan the camera down so we can see Allison. She's right over here. She's a beautiful, beautiful animal. She's got a gorgeous shell. And you can see how she uses that flipper, but also the prosthesis. So since we're closed to the public, we've been putting Allison out and some of our staff members have been watching her, monitoring her, make sure she's safe. If the prosthesis ever falls off, we do like to rapidly get her into her shallow tank and put it back on because she really does struggle even at this shallow depth to get up to take a breath. I'm gonna show you swimming around or her swimming around for a while. It's a really, really, really cool thing to get to see. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them, whether it be about Allison or sea turtles in general. Oh, I see April's tuning in, hello. Um, she was the one that actually found Allison, April and Allison, so thank you for tuning in. You'll notice there are some fishes here in her tank. Those are not there as food, they're there as companions. So we want to simulate a natural environment for our resident turtles. So we build our tanks to kind of simulate what they would be experiencing out in the wild. So people are asking what she eats and what her favorite food is. She really enjoys lettuce and bell pepper that we give her. She also does get seafood. So she gets squid, mackerel, and shrimp. For a while, she was a little bit picky and she would not eat shrimp, but now she's back to eating shrimp. So that's good, she's not too picky anymore. Hi, Mia. <laughs> I see that you're commenting, your mom commented. Hi, Mia, thank you for tuning in. What you'll notice about her prosthesis too is that it adjusts, right? So if she grows over time, that prosthesis will actually function for a couple more years. Eventually, when she does get way, way bigger, we'll have to build her a new prosthesis to accommodate for her new size. Someone asked if she gets to interact with other turtles. Our residency turtles are actually kept alone in their tanks away from other turtles as sea turtles are solitary animals. So they actually can get a little bit aggressive, territorial, if they're with other turtles out in the wild. And as far as in our hospital, we keep some of our juvenile green sea turtles together, but different species are definitely isolated because they can get quite aggressive. Someone asked how old she is. So she's in her teens, her mid-teens when she came in, she was about a year old and that was 15 years ago. So she's about 16 years old. Someone asked, what kind of fish are in the tank? Thank you, Emma, for your question. So we have some black drum, some red drum. We've got some really big fish in here. We also have some mullet, some pinfish, and some ladyfish. So these are all native to the Gulf of Mexico. So all these fish you can actually find 
right out here off of South Padre Island. Someone asked, does she wear the prosthesis all day? No, she does not. She wears it for part of the day and then when we go home, we take it off since we can't monitor her during the night. Someone asked what they do at night. So at night, they usually rest. So you can see some of our animals sleeping and resting if you've ever been at the facility. But at night, it gets pretty quiet. So they swim around and for the most part, they're just resting. Yes, someone mentioned that she used to share a tank with Merry Christmas. Yep, that's true. Back at our old building, she did used to share a tank with Mary. But now we keep her in her own tank. Raquel mentioned that she's your favorite turtle in, as well as Hang 10. I love Hang 10 and Allison as well. Someone asked exactly how the prosthesis work as she swims. So you can see it's kind of like a rudder in the back. Now Tom Wilson would have a much better idea as far as the engineering aspect of it. But the idea is that it kind of balances her and allows her to swim comfortably around the tank. Someone asked what the prosthesis was. So you can kind of see this black device on her back. That is her prosthesis. So it's a prosthetic device. There are other sea turtles around the world that have prosthetic devices. Allison was one of the first in the world. Someone asked if she'll be released. Unfortunately, Allison cannot be released. When animals that suffer a predator attack like Allison come into the hospital, they're deemed non-releasable if they can't function by themselves out in the wild. And since she can only be kept in very shallow water without that prosthetic device, we cannot release her. Noah says he loves Hang 10. Hang 10 says hello, Noah. Someone asked about adoptions. If you're interested in adoptions, you can actually go on our website, seaturtleinc.org. We have an adoptions tag. That way you can explore our resident adoptions, our patient adoptions, as well as our hatchling adoptions. She's really active right now. Sometimes she'll kind of rest for a little bit, but she's probably excited to be out in her tank. If you've ever been to the facility, You'll often see, she almost looks like she's posing. She'll kind of sit in front of those windows and people get some wonderful photos. If you have any photos of Allison, I'd love to see them. I've only been working here about a year, so it's always interesting to see what Allison has looked like over time. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I can continue answering them. And of course, if you have an Allison story, I'd love to hear it. I know a lot of our volunteers are really passionate about Allison and we have many volunteers that act as Allison's lifeguard to monitor her throughout the day and share her story with our visitors. Someone asked how we feed them. So it depends on the turtle. Allison, we actually feed in her side tank over there at the end of the day with tongs just because she has such trouble moving. Same with Fred. So Fred's in this tank right over here. With Fred, we also feed him with tongs due to his vision problems as well as buoyancy issues. With Jerry, who's right over here in this tank, we can actually just drop the food in. Same with Merry Christmas, who's in that tank over there. And with Hang 10, although she struggles to get around the tank, we still do drop her food in and we keep the fish in her tank pretty small so the fish don't eat her food. So it just depends on the animal. Someone asked how we know their age. We can only estimate it based on their shell size. So all of our turtles here, we don't exactly know how old they are, except for Hang 10, because Hang 10 was one of our hatchlings from one of our nests. So we know exactly how old she is. Every other turtle we can only estimate. Jennifer said she adopted her last summer. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it greatly. Emma asked what species are the other residents? So she is an Atlantic green sea turtle. Fred is a loggerhead sea turtle and Hang 10 is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. 
Jerry and Merry Christmas are also Atlantic Greens. Does Allison have a birthday? She does not have an official birthday. The only one whose birthday we know is Hank 10, so we actually throw her a birthday party every summer. We come together, we feed her, and everybody sings her happy birthday. If you've ever been to Hank 10's birthday party, let me know. It's a really fun event for us. We love all of our turtles here at the facility. How big can they get? It depends on the species. Atlantic green sea turtles can grow to around 500 pounds. Other sea turtle species, such as the leatherback sea turtle, can grow to around 1,000 pounds. So with that, I'll wrap it up. If you have any other questions, please type them into the comments below. I'll be back to answer all those questions. We also will have another Facebook Live in two days. If you've missed our other videos, go back on our page. We've actually posted all of our lives to our Facebook page and we're always in there interacting with you guys and see if you have any questions. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Again, happy birthday to my dear mother. I love you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.